Ooh, we got a bird coming on, coming at us right on the deck. Here we go, boys. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. What up guys and welcome back to another one. Today, 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 today is uh, middle of the week. It's about, what is it, Tuesday? I don't even know my days anymore. Yeah, but it's Tuesday, all of the uh, buddies are working. So I'm like, you know what? I haven't done a solo mission for a long time. And uh, today I uh, didn't even scout. Early, early morning it was extra cold. I stayed in with the kiddos. And uh, I got out at about 10 o'clock and it looked like not many birds had even flown. It was pretty chilly, there was a good little wind, and it was cold enough to make them stay on that roost water like we've all talked about before. And that's what they did, a lot of them, over half of the birds stayed on the water this morning and they uh, were just kind of trickling to fields, starting to get off the water and trickle to fields. So I found a field that is in between the water and the main feed. So we're gonna sit right in the middle right there. We're gonna sit a juicy little silo spread by ourselves. Gonna sit about 20 dozen dive bomb silhouettes and we might sprinkle some socks in there, some dark socks and some white socks. We'll see how it goes. But the feed that they're hitting is pretty darn big. There's a lot of snows flying above it. I think there's actually more snows in there in than there is Canada. So just seems like lately sitting out a lot of snow goose decoys. It just hasn't been working because they are adults. A lot of adult snows in. So I'm feeling obligated to give it a try. That's what we're gonna do. Full send today, boys. Let's let her rip. Trying to decide if I want to rock the lay down blind or hide in a tree row. I can't decide yet. But I want to tell you guys real quick, we're doing 10 days of Christmas, and today on sale is the Freedom Cup Ducks hoodie right here. 25% off today and today only. Get it while you can. I will link that hoodie down in the description below. If you've been wanting to buy a Ducks hoodie, the Freedom Cup Ducks it is one of our best sellers. Everybody likes it. So go down in the description below, click the Freedom Cup Ducks link, pick you one up. Hey puppies, hey puppies. Oh, is it cold out here, sis? Is it cold? Go inside. Go inside. See? Even the dogs know it's cold. Gee, many. Okay, something y'all probably ought to know about Bob is you hear a lot of the different styles of music that I put on the channel. Well, I had to cut back because YouTube yeah, they do not like you using a lot of different types of music. Let's just put it that way. Basically, they will copyright you for a lot of different things now. So, if you think it's free music, well, it's actually not. So you better be careful using the music. That being said, I love a lot of different music and I wish I could put it on here. I wish that some of my favorite songs by big artists I could put on the channel. I really do wish I could, but I can't. Their, their system analyzes it and tracks it and then will flag me for it, as a lot of you have probably noticed in the past videos, like the Canada, Canada videos that I had to re-upload. So, just know that your boy is jamming like a mofo to the field every dang time. Just wanted to throw this in there. I, I, I hope all you understand how risky of the uh, business, risky business this is trying to do these goose hunts by yourself. Um, the thing is we're close to a roost. Uh, here in my parts where I live, we're really close to big roosts. So you're talking about a lot of birds. You would think that would make it easier when you sit close to those roosts. Well, 50-50. There's a, you have 50% yes and 50% no. One being, um, you have to have big spreads. That's the thing, you have to have big spreads. So. When it's a solo hunt, you're setting a lot of decoys by yourself. That's what I mean by risky business. I hope you enjoy these videos. These are the ones that take a ton of effort, but I love it so much. But again, like I always say, if you guys appreciate this type of video right here and you like the channel, you appreciate, the, appreciate what I'm doing to entertain y'all and to have fun by myself because I do love it. Drop your boy a big old thumbs up or if you really feel sincere, you can drop a comment down below. So, I appreciate it guys. Oh man. Well, we are here and uh, it's actually frozen enough, not too bad, still pretty dry. Yeah, it's not too bad, it's got a little moisture in it. 
but not much at all. I didn't even leave any marks driving in here. So I picked a different field. We actually don't quite need the uh, quad. This is going to be a traffic field. This hasn't been a feed. Uh, we have decent wind. I could use a little more wind for sure. But this is going to be trafficking. Um, I'm hoping that the birds get off the roost and just float south. And uh, that's what they've kind of been doing the last two mornings. Now in the evenings it's been a little different. They've been flying east. But today is a lot colder. I'm hoping, cross my fingers, this is my gamble of the day, is that it's cold enough to hold those birds to where they went this morning to eat. That they don't want to go out, they don't want to explore, and they don't want to move areas to different roosts. I'm hoping that the cold is going to pin them down enough to where they're just going to float south again like they did this morning and just come this way. Because the uh, feed that they actually were on is about a mile or two southwest of me. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get to work. Got a lot of work to do by myself. I'm going to time it. I'm going to see how long it takes me to get up all these dive bomb socks and silos. And we'll go from there. Oh, well, time check here. I've been sitting up the decoy spread for an hour and a half by myself. I got up what I really wanted to, the amount that I wanted to. Whoa. But I can say uh, that's a lot of work. It's going to be a lot of decoys to pick up. But I, I can't even think of the count right now. I'm going to have to get my head on straight after I park the truck here and give you guys a count of what we actually have up by ourselves here. Oh, just parked the old quad. Oh, there's a tree patch out here and I used it to get about halfway out to the spread so I don't have to walk so far from the truck. Oh, this is risky business doing these solo hunts like this. It ain't bad, you know, doing a duck hunt where you sit out two dozen floaters, but... I tell you what, hopefully this pays off because I am going to have a ton of decoys to pick up once it gets dark. And that is never, ever, ever fun. So, I'm really hoping that this works pretty good. So this is where I'm sitting. I got the mojo next to me so I can turn it off and off by hand. Got the left side over here that drags out some snow sprinkled in. A lot of Canada socks around me and behind me as well as the Canada Sillows. And then same thing going off the right side is sprinkled with white, dark socks, dark, dark Sillows, just all kind of sprinkled together. Sitting right in the body. I'm not sitting really far back because we don't have a lot of people. A lot of times you have to sit way far back in the spread with the more people you have, but I should be gone today, no problem. Hopefully mama don't get mad that daddy's home late. Well, it is 3.22 and some of the first small groups are lifting off the roost. I'm sure they can see me. Let's see if they want to check us out here. So we're going to get underway. I'm going to throw on the GoPro 5 on my head uh, for shooting purposes. And uh, yeah, if you guys like this again, I know I've said it already, but drop your boy a big old thumbs up because this is what I love to do. And I know this is what you guys love to see. That's why I was like, man, I got to do a solo hunt. They're ready to, they're ready to see Bob get after it by himself. Um, these big ones like this though, oof, woo! <laughs> I tried they weren't real high but you know got to uh, pop the trigger at some point here here we go 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 come on give it up there we go there's one down kind of a far shot but we got him one on the board, baby. That makes it worth it right there, boys. If you guys have watched my last big solo hunt from last year, whatever you can get down, it doesn't matter if you're not limited out. This took a lot of work to get this spread up. And having the first bird down is worth it. Oh, came out to pick up my bird. Look at that. Look at that. That's nice, though. Proud to have one on the ground. Got about one hour left, right at one hour. You gotta have them field snacks. Today, going with good old classic Lay's, baby. Oh, that's gold right there. They're flying high though. 
who knows if I'm, they're going to give me a shot. Lots of snows in the area and a lot of them are adults so it's going to be hard. Here comes two. Oh, I had to stop calling a minute to film, which probably isn't good, but look at all these birds. See if we can get their attention here. Look at these birds, they're pretty darn low right here. <laughs> Come on, do something, man. Oh, man. So we got a big feed going on over there and a big feed going on over here. So they found their own field where they want to be. They don't want to be with the fake decoys, especially with one guy yapping on a tuner. So, oh, man. Ooh, we got a bird coming, on, coming at us right on the deck. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Second bird down, baby. Woo! Yeah! Take what we can get. That's what we're doing today. If they're coming in the decoys like that, we are absolutely going to take what we can get. Oh, look at these birds. This ain't fair. They won't get any lower than that. They're sitting at about 50 yards high. and I just don't want to try them on that height, you know? But the ones that are getting low, I'm dang sure trying. Whatever's getting 40, 30, 20, 10 yards like that last one, he did it real low and real close. I'm definitely taking the pops at him. Here we go. Here's some ducks. Here's ducks, boys. Got the mojo rolling. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're going to come over the top. Got him. He dead. Got me a duck down. That's a mallard, boys. Yeah. There we go. He was not very low. They were a lot lower over here, and then they are coming at me, and they picked up. But I was like, you know what? Like I've been saying, got to take what you can get. Got to take what you can get. Bottom line, on these sunny days like this, and you got feeds next to you, not even a mile away, you got to take what you can get. Oh, look at that. Got me a greenie. Got me a greenie, baby. That's what I'm after. Ooh, look at that. He took a, oh my goodness, look at that. He took a corn stalk to the gut. Oh man, poor guy. Well, that was an instant death. Didn't have to even wring his neck. Wow, he took the whole stalk right through the, right through the gut. Ouch, guy, I'm sorry. Not doing too bad for a solo hunt. If you guys are enjoying it, give your boy a big old thumbs up. Not going too bad got three birds down wish i had a bunch more but uh two things the wind is completely completely gone these things are not even moving at all and then uh, number two we're sitting really close to the roost so i believe i need a lot more noise when i just go clucking they're like whoa what's that <clears throat> it's not that i suck because you, you all know i do <laughs> just probably need a lot more noise so the ones that have done it I've had, what, the, the, the pair that did it um, that really liked the clucking, the mild clucking, uh, but everything else kind of did it. I seen them cupped up before I even started uh, blowing the call, so I never called, and they did it pretty well. So, uh, the, oh, God. Oh, how did I miss those birds? It's almost working better if I... Ooh, here we go, ducks, ducks. Get ready, boys. Get ready, boys. I know I'm calling you guys boys, but you guys are the only ones that are with me right now. Turn on the mojo, Bob. Three ducks. Uh-oh, we got a duck doing it. Where's he at? Where's he at? There he is. Here we go, here we go, boys. I'm going to try... Ooh, oh, he's far. Oh, we got geese coming. Oh, darn it. I was going to try them. That's what's bad about this right there. The ducks will be giving it up when the geese are coming. That's like the only time they like to come. See, this is what happens right here. They skim right over the top of you when they're going to another field where there's a bunch of birds. Oh, look at them ducks. Darn it. Oh. He dead. That boy is dead. Yeah. 
Gotta take what you can get. I had birds working, but that one was close. I made the last call, last second decision right there, boys. Take him. Like I said, you gotta take what you can get. Scared all the other birds away, but they weren't gonna do it. The one did. Woo! Another thing why I'm not scared to take the higher shot at the ducks is because they're easy to down. The geese, extremely hard to down. But the ducks, I know that I can kill them pretty well. Coming right at me. Are they gonna do it? Nope. Whoa, lots. 55 dozen is a lot of decoys to pick up by yourself. Uh, thank God they're all socks and silos. If they were full bodies, I would have been dead already. But as you can tell, we've got a little more than half of them picked up. Got them all in the piles. My plan is get them all piled up, then go get the truck, put the headlights on them, bag them, throw them in the truck, and we out. So, we're almost done here. I will uh, drop back in in a minute when I'm done. But all these geese, listen to this. Go All going back to roost. I love this. I love my life. Thank you all for being here, darn it. Well, my uh, lens on my camera keeps fogging up. I hope it's not too bad right now. So what I did, like I said, I piled everything up and then I went and got the truck. It took me from 514, which was shooting light. I got right on it right away uh, to... 553 so like i was saying it took me like 39 40 minutes to pile everything up but then i had to go walk get the quad get the truck and now it's 6 30. so all in all it took me an hour and about mm, 15 minutes to get everything done so really not bad at all hour and 15 minutes for 55 dozen picking up it took me about an hour and 15 minutes an hour and 30 minutes to set them all out picking them up actually went faster than sitting them out so but let's get back to the house so i can show you these birds well we are back here in the shop oh man it is let's see what time it is i had to have dinner with the babies and then i had to lay the babies down it's 809 i was like man i better go close out that video and clean my birds but check it out four birds not too bad and remember this guy look at that oh it's still oh it's still in there look at that ah oh. yeah that poor guy took an entire corn stalk straight through him Oof. Uh, but a little recap of today i would say that we were a little bit too close to the roost um i told you it was cold out so i knew that they were going to stay relatively close but they stayed within two to three miles i was within about a mile and a half so the ones that wanted to do it they did it really well we took some good shots on these birds here they actually really gave it up I did take a few high shots because the groups that were at that range, I had they had been at that range all day. They had been at that 45, 50 yard range all day. And I was like, you know what? I got BBs in with a full choke. I'm just going to send it. I actually knocked down one of the Canadas out of a group just like that. So, oh, but I can remember last year, it was probably in January when I did a solo goose hunt somewhat similar to this. But it was all white decoys. I didn't have any dark silos or any dark socks during that time. I can say it was about the same type of deal. When you're by yourself and you have a lot more decoys than what you can put off sound to, uh, I, I seen real fast that the noise I made, they didn't really like it. I think there was only one group that really ate it up and loved the calling. I don't know if it's just like a repetitive noise by yourself and they don't like that or what it is, but, but I mean, I gave it my best, you know what I mean? A lot of times the ducks did it when I made no noise. That's, that's when they really gave it up. But other than that, it was a really fun hunt, a ton of work. I mean, 55 dozen decoys, holy smokes. But, 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 like I said, we're doing the 10 days of Christmas. So today is the Freedom Cup Ducks hoodie, this one right here. And then every single day, there's going to be a different item on sale for 25% off. They're select items. So if there's not a video up to tell you, you need to go follow Ducks Waterfowl and myself on Instagram right here to stay up to date with what sales are going on what days. Or you can just check the website every day and it'll tell you right on the home page. But I wanna thank you guys for being here like always. These solo hunts are extremely rewarding. I wouldn't be doing these crazy things like this, sitting and tearing down 55 dozen within, it was like two, two and a half hours. 
that had that spread up. Yeah, a lot of work, short amount of time. Thank you all for being here. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.